So first of all, Maria, for Germany, what's the significance of Elon Musk's visit today? Yes, uh, you know, Francine, there's actually a read across here. You know, this is about the company, it's about Germany, but it's also about the political campaign heading into the election. As you say, Elon Musk will be in this site. You see behind me, this is a site that Tesla says will be a very high volume for electric cars and will be a key part of their uh, plan to expand. But you also know, Francine, that there has been a number of delays here. The inauguration date on this, it's unclear. Elon Musk has been very vocal about the fact that that he believes the German bureaucracy is not helping to accelerate uh, the production here. So we, he will want to have a, a conversation around that. And then the other, of course, is for Armin Laschet himself, the CDU chancellor candidate. We have seen him slipping in polls consistently now for three weeks. He's not been able to really recover from the management of the floodings. And he wants to come out here to say, I'm out with the big CEOs. You know, we want to talk uh, business. I can take the country forward and kind of just cling on to the star power from uh, Elon Musk. I can guarantee you this will be on every news show in Germany today, whether that works, whether that takes Armin Laschet a bigger impulse and gives his campaign momentum really remains to be seen. But he's hoping uh, that is the direction of travel after this meeting. Uh, Maria, I mean, you're talking about this fairy dust that, of course, uh, Armin Laschet hopes to have when close to Elon Musk. At the same time, if Tesla is a big threat to the German auto industry, could it actually backfire? Yeah, it actually is. And, you know, uh, Francine, for the German cars, of course, have said that they want to compete also in the electric site. They will have to just purely based on the regulation. You know that the European Commission has been very clear by 2035, all combustion cars need to be taken off the road. What they argue, however, is that Tesla is not really a competitor to the made in Germany industry. They say that this is still a niche model. The price point is also not uh, ideal for the middle average German and that Germans ultimately want to buy made in Germany. This is an industry that they feel proud of. So the competition is who gets first in terms of this affordable electric uh, vehicle. But it could back backfire to some extent on Laschet's campaign if he's seen as perhaps being too cozy with the Americans, perhaps too cozy with uh, Tesla, not doing enough to defend what is the backbone of the German industry, of course, the car makers.